Namaste and welcome to you in the third session of Research Methodology Lecture Series. I am Khagendra Acharya. I teach English Language, Literature and Communication Skills at Kathmandu University. This video is prepared as an initiative of Kathmandu University to offer online support to the researchers who are about to start literature review. I begin this session recalling what we did in the last two sessions. The first session tried to guide you from the research interest to the research topic, and the second session focused on the prerequisites to literature review. In this session, as you are going to write literature review, please make sure that you have information related to the research topic particularly the concepts and constructs used in the research and the history as well as very general information about the topic. Don't you have this information? No worries at all. Continue watching the video. You will learn the way from later part of the video. What next? You should also have a compiled list of topic related and topic focused research. Next, you should have a structured abstraction form and a clear plan to enter information in the form. If you don't have, no worries this time too. You will learn the way from later part of the video. The fourth component you should have is knowledge of different writing patterns. Let's double check with what you should start writing literature review. You have information related to the research topic, Topic related and topic focused research, structured abstraction form, and knowledge of different writing patterns. To help you ensure that you have these essentials, I'm presenting examples from two different reviews. Both these reviews come from the work in which I'm also involved. To get information on the students' perception of quality education, we ask the general questions. What do the terms students' perception and quality education mean? These two terms, students' perception and quality education, were our concepts. What we collected and compiled is here. Please read it. For the topic, Epidemiology of Spinal Cord Injury in Nepal, we gathered information related to what do the terms epidemiology and spinal cord injury mean? What is its prevalence? What are the major issues in spinal cord injury? What we collected and compiled is here. These informations were derived from the seminal books on the research topic. If you do not have information related to your research topic, pause the video and start working to collect before you go to the later part of the lecture. Next, the compilation of topic-related and topic-focused research. Our compilation for the review of students' perception appears like this. We compiled it in Mandley. And for epidemiology, we compiled in Jotero. What I'm saying here is, we use reference management software to compile the relevant literature. Using this compiled literature as a source, we then prepared structured abstraction form. In column one of this form, we entered study identification. Second column was filled with the issues studied in the available literature. In third column, we filled in three major aspects of research methodology. The participants, data collection method, and analysis procedure. Fourth column got filled with the findings related to the issues we included in the second column. Structured abstraction form for the second review looks like this. 
Here we included study identification, purpose of the study, research design, location, population, different age groups, etiology, and injury severity. Perhaps you noted substantial differences in the two forms. And guess for the differences? It is because the first form was for the qualitative study and the second one was for the quantitative study. If you do not have in pause the video and start working. To recap with the general information, relevant literature and field of abstraction form, what we needed was the knowledge of organization patterns. From the available list of organization patterns, we found three patterns useful, thematic, chronological, and methodological. To tell briefly about these patterns, thematic puts the information in terms of identical ideas. Chronological brings information publication date-wise or trend-wise and methodological puts methods related information together. Let me show you some section of our review. Do you want to read it till the end? Please pause here. Here is an extract from second review. It is organized thematically. If you want to read till the end, please pause here. In visual form, the structure of review appears like this. At the top, information about research topic. Under it, topic related and topic focused research. And finally, the research gap. We are now towards the end. Based on what I have observed in Stone's literature review, I am providing you a few cautionary notes. First, don't use secondary sources if the primary sources are available. Quoting secondary source when the primary source is available is not a good practice. Do not prepare literature review relying on the abstract section of the article and quote sparingly only avoiding very frequent quotations. Importantly, don't organize the literature review like shopping list. I've seen many reviews organized in shopping list style. It makes your review unworthy of reading. I hope this video helped you produce literature review. Of course, literature review matters. Good luck for the product. Thank you and namaste till the next session.